The Cricket Association has been putting on matches often, even though the season has not opened. The last matchup saw the Caribbean All-Stars taking on the Jamaican All-Stars. Batting first was the Caribbean All-Stars, who scored 189 runs for five wickets from 20 overs. Big player Gavin Bruno hammered an impressive 64 runs with eight fours and three sixes, followed by Kareem Jack, who scored 31 runs. The Jamaican All-Stars in their reply reached 182 runs for eight wickets from 20 overs. Top scorer for the team, Douglas Brown, got 66 runs, hitting four massive sixes and seven fours, and Ricardo Brown chipped in with 24 runs. The Caribbean All-Stars would defeat the Jamaican All-Stars in the T20 cricket match. The teams will go at it again this coming Sunday at the downtown ballpark at 10 a.m. In other sports news, the national under-20 team, after competing in the first phase playoffs of the Caribbean Football Union under-20s men's qualifying competition, moved on to the second phase of the playoffs, which would take place in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Team TCI and Team USVI was tied in Game 1, which was played here in the TCI last week, and the team traveled to the U.S. Virgin Islands for Game 2 on Tuesday. The U.S. Virgin Islands won the playoff against Team TCI by 3-0 on aggregate. The U.S. Virgin Islands team will now join Group C of the CFU's men's under-20 qualifying tournament that will be held in Guyana on October 6, 8, and 10. In a press release from the TCI Football Association, Secretary General of the TCIFA, Sonia Bianami, expressed that, quote, The competition was as strong as expected. We didn't get the results that we wanted. However, in assessing where we are in terms of our development programs and what we need to work on, we will continue to close those gaps, end quote. Also commenting on the national team's performance was technical director at the TCIFA, Matthew Green, who said, quote, Once again, the under-20 squad has shown that they can compete credibly at international level. In this series of matches against the USVI, they have exhibited significant improvement over their performance at the under-17 level in Trinidad two years ago, which bodes well for the future, end quote. Head coach for the under-20 squad, Gary Bruff, who traveled with the team, said that, quote, The game in the USVI was very evenly matched and could have gone either way. TCI dominated at times, most notably in a 20-minute first-half period, and matched the host team for most of the game. Whilst it is always disappointing to lose, we must keep the big picture in mind, and there is no doubt that this experience was another most positive step in the development of these young players, many of whom we hope and expect will progress to play for the men's national team in the not-too-distant future, end quote. The team returned home today from St. Croix, USVI. Coming up this weekend is Game 2 of the Women's Championship Series between Silver Deep and Absolute View. Number one seed Silver Deep is looking to bring that same energy from last game into game two for another win. But team captain Paula Virgil Stubbs know that that Silver Deep is expecting Absolute View to step up in game two, but nonetheless, they are prepared. Well, I know they can come with blood in the eyes for the second game, but um, it's going to be basically the same thing when we come out here. We came out here for the first game, just go out there and play our, and play our game. We, we know how to, how to, how to do it. Coach of Silver Deep, Keith Cox, said that the success of the team is depending on both the player and the coach. Well, I guess, you know, it, it depends on the player and the coach. You got to keep the team motivated. You got to keep pushing them. Um, and to let them know, you're the champions. You, gotta, you know, you have to defend your championship title with every ounce of energy that you have. You can't go half stepping. You have to continue to play. And you have to keep having them up. Silver Deep and Absolute View will meet for Game 2 on Saturday at 5 p.m. at the downtown ballpark. On Sunday, the Predators will resume their game with Silver Deep as the Softball Federation try to complete their makeout games and get set for the men's playoff. And in the evening will be the Filipino Basketball League with their weekly basketball games at the Gustavus Leibrand Sports Complex. For WIV4 Sports, I'm Tian Thomas.